This is Duke University. I'm David Shanzer. I'm an associate professor of the practice at the Duke Sanford School of Public Policy, and I'm the director of the Triangle Center on Terrorism and Homeland Security. It's a consortium between Duke, UNC, and RTI International to promote both education and research in the areas of counterterrorism and homeland security. Uh, specifically, we've really been working on social science uh, applications and how the knowledge about human behavior, culture, uh, uh, and similar social science issues can help advance our national security mission. Prior to coming to this region, I worked in all three branches of the federal government and uh, spent you know, the early parts of my career uh, helping uh, to develop uh, public policies. When I was a policy maker working on the staff uh, in the United States Senate and then the House of Representatives, we were faced with a bunch of new challenges that 9-11 presented that really policymakers hadn't thought about uh, before. And what I try to do is uh, take that feeling of there's a new threat, uh, it's, it's something that's uh, quantifiably different than things that we faced uh, before, uh, but look at also you know, our values, American values, global values of tolerance and freedom and privacy, liberty, equality. And how do we, uh, and I'd like to try to put students in the place of those decision makers, how would you try to address these uh, compelling threats uh, in a way that uh, honored all of these uh, values? And it's often easy for students to you know, have an opinion, but once they're countered with, uh, well, uh, what about this way of looking at it? Or how would uh, what you just said impact uh, the freedom of a Muslim American? And force them to understand the trade-offs and the balances uh, maybe some of the, even the inconsistencies in uh, some of their views, uh, I think it's really a, uh, a truly educational experience. Well, right now I'm uh, uh, going to be teaching 9-11 and its aftermath, I think for the uh, ninth time uh, here at Duke uh, next fall. Uh, and that's a class that looks at, you know, how did Al-Qaeda arise and then come to the point of the 9-11 attacks, uh, and then spends a lot of time afterwards looking at uh, the aftermath of those attacks from a public policy perspective, uh, looking at issues like the use of force, uh, the collection of intelligence uh, and policing issues, and then also the concept of uh, homeland security. Uh, that being the aftermath, our, our policy response. In the past, I've taught classes on counterterrorism law and policy. I'm teaching some executive education courses on uh, national security and strategic uh, thinking for, uh, uh, for the Army this summer. And the new exciting thing I'm doing is I'm taking 9-11 and its aftermath, and I'm uh, developing it into a MOOC, which is called a uh, massively oversubscribed online course. Uh, well, I really enjoy teaching 9-11 and its aftermath uh, because it changes so much every year and by, just by preparing to teach it and teaching it, uh, I get up to date and I learn more really uh, about all the issues. Uh, the students are, are always challenging me to think about the issues in different ways. Every year I tell the students at the beginning of the semester something will happen that's going to be in the news that we're studying, uh, uh, sometimes just to the day. Uh, uh, that will be, you know, momentous and we'll have a chance to talk about it in the context of the things that we've learned about in this course. So it's great teaching a topic that is so timely that it's uh, always changing and developing and of course that the students are really, really interested in. Well, I'd say the biggest way that I'm all, uh, interacting with students uh, outside the classroom is often uh, teach seniors, so they're very interested in employment uh, after, uh, after they're finished with my class. So I really try to help advise students on different career paths that might be available, especially uh, in Washington, D.C., and uh, talk to potential employers and, and try to link them together. Uh, so I really like giving students advice uh, about uh, different uh, opportunities and pathways that they uh, might consider. 
and I'm often using uh, students as uh, research assistants for some of my projects and that's always uh, uh, both fun and beneficial for me. Uh, one thing I like to do is uh, I, I often am teaching at both Duke and at UNC at the same time and uh, every year I have my students over for dinner and I make a giant lasagna and I never make enough uh, lasagna and uh, we have a uh, you know both the Duke and UNC students and it's remarkable to me how little interaction uh, often there is between these two huge universities that are so close together. We have a lot more in common than makes us different and I believe that uh, through one of these dinners uh, uh, somebody from Duke started, one of my Duke students started dating a UNC student so uh, uh, so that's something I enjoy doing and also uh, to you know have the students over and interact in a informal setting and I have to say I've been surprised at uh, how little of that uh, takes place so it's uh, it's a fun thing that we, I try to do every year. I don't really think uh, Duke students should uh, craft their position towards landing a position in Washington DC. Uh, I think uh, you're only in a chance to be in a university environment uh, once and it's a uh, uh, Sure, it's important to look towards the future, but it's important to get the most uh, out of this place as you can. And that means uh, experiencing a, a wide array of subjects. Don't just focus on the narrow thing you think your career is going to be about. Uh, don't uh, just take courses in a you know a specific targeted niche. Uh, you want to challenge yourself, uh, spread your wings, uh, experiment and fail. Uh, you also want to take uh, uh, have experiences that. Uh, develop different skills. So if you always take a lecture course with an exam and a paper, you'll get really good at that, but you won't do any service learning or you won't do any project-oriented things or uh, you won't involve, uh, get involved in some scientific research. So yes, it's important to build an expertise uh, and we do that through majors and, and uh, honors theses and I certainly encourage people to um, uh, take advantage of those experiences, but also I, I think people should resist uh, the temptation to make their four years at Duke a kind of a pre-professional uh, experience. Well, right now we are looking at uh, how law enforcement can uh, use uh, interaction with the community as a means for counterterrorism. So President Obama put out a strategy in 2011 uh, that called for the development of partnerships between communities and law enforcement uh, to combat uh, violent extremism. And we have a number of questions that we're researching now uh, that in some ways follows on to that uh, initiative. 